Hey folks, today I wanted to do a video on the Sony Mini Disc Walkman. Actually, I'm going to be doing a teardown. So the Mini Disc system was really big in the late 90s, early 2000s. And it was the type of thing that, uh, if, if you had extra money, it was a premium kind of thing. Uh, the Mini Disc system was released by Sony. And the idea was you could put your MP3s on here and have all kinds of music. All kinds of music. As I said, mini disc. Uh, I forget how you get that open. I think you need to press something. But anyways, yeah, this thing would automatically open. And you have your CD in there. And it would be protected by the case, by the slip. Unlike media now. Like, it is dirt cheap, but, you know, unbelievably easy to break. And I believe that this disc will last longer if you put it in a time capsule believe it or not all forms of media is horrible as time capsule uh fodder uh, i believe about 100 years every, generally about everything will last about 100 years but, but i'm not sure paper is really all that much better so the issue that we got on this thing is the seek time is just horrible just atrocious and on top of that as you might have noticed we also have uh, puppy dog teeth marks all over the place Looks like somebody's puppy dog got a hold of it. So, let us start with the teardown. We have a little look on the inside. See what makes it tick. Now these things are actually very collectible. Worth the price on eBay. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to bother with eBay. Don't get me wrong, I was doing great with eBay up until about Christmas. When I was sending things with tracked information. And my customers just weren't getting what they were supposed to get. And I wasn't getting what I was supposed to get. Telling me during the Christmas rush, things go slowly. Now, I can understand that, but if you're, uh, if you're a post office and you know that things are going to be going slowly for Christmas, because let's face it, the post office has been doing this job for how long? They should darn well know. They should darn well know exactly how long it's going to take something to get from point A to point B, and if they need extra shippers or uh, shipping materials, they should be all over that. Anyways, because of that, I got out of eBay. Well, what was even uh, more frustrating is I was shipping things as tracked, but when I went to get the tracking number, they wouldn't give me the right frickin' number. I couldn't get the right number to give to my customers. So that's what we got on the circuit board. So, all in all, nuts to eBay. Very much nuts to eBay. Maybe I should just say nuts to the Postal Service. You definitely tell that this uh, comes from back in the age 
where things were easy to take apart. <clears throat> fewer snaps. Much fewer snaps. And much more Phillips head screws. And all these plastic parts come apart just like you'd think they would easily. I have so many uh I have so many of these ribbons on other machines. When I open cell phones that all open up a little bit differently. And it's not too intuitive. You can't just look at it and automatically know what's going on. Okay, so now we're getting into the mechanical. So I managed to get that piece off, but it was only by physical force, of course. Just had to pull. That must be where it reads. That must be the, the eye. The laser. Wow, that is one small, fine laser. Just to give you an idea. Just double A battery. Damn, that thing's small. I don't like that this uh, is soldered right on. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Jeez, that's a laser right in there. What the heck is this thing? It must just be a simple sensor. inside. Don't think I can take those two apart. Wait, maybe I can. There we go. So that's the laser. Looks like it uses the same rail system it used to. Sure that uh, the CD did. Yep. Anyways, put these aside. Just gotta get that sucker back together later. Now let's open up one of these discs. These discs are actually worth a bit of money too. I used to know exactly what button you had to hit to open these things. Here's the disc. Let's see if I can break this sucker open now. There we go. And on the inside we get our cute our cute little mini disc. Very nice. So just give you an idea of the size. There's a double A battery. So these little suckers were good for between 74 and 80 minutes uh, of music. And that's digitized audio or one gigabyte of, of high MD data. These suckers were actually released in 1992, and they were available up until March 2013. Really interesting format. I guess it just didn't make it because perhaps distribution, and maybe cost. Maybe everybody preferred the cost of uh, the single disc, not the disc. Not the disc inside of a case. That's interesting. Had a little metal thing in there. Looks like it should be able to pop it out, but it seems to be actually encased whoop, within the plastic. That was actually sitting right on the inside. Huh. Fascinating. Interesting old tech. Anyways, yeah, I got this thing at a dollar store for five bucks with a whole bunch of uh, discs. Unfortunately, the player didn't work, but uh, I got another player. I got another player, and uh, I eBayed that one. Uh, before I realized what a gong show eBay was. Anyways, good times. 
Like and subscribe if you want to see more awesome stuff. Have a good one, YouTube.